live shot from our downtown sky cam and I like this for several reasons blue skies it's light out some sunshine the steam plant you can see the towers there what a beautiful city. Your forecast first for tonight, mostly clear skies, 20 degrees for an overnight low. We will see some clouds moving in early tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy conditions tomorrow with the possibility of a few snow flurries in the evening. Breezy, southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts to 30 miles per hour. It's 34 degrees right now and clear in Spokane. Dew point down at 18, west southwest winds at 7. It's 33 and mostly cloudy currently in Coeur d'Alene. Here's our temperature trend over the next seven days. The white line is average, which is now up into the mid 40s and continues to climb. Our high temperature over the next week remains below average, but we will be above freezing. So we're going to do a lot of freezing and thawing and seeing snow in the morning and snow at night with a rain snow mix during the day. Have a few snow flurries that have uh, shown up in the afternoon on a very isolated basis. Those will not be around for long. We'll be clearing out but only briefly, here's our computer model forecast, and the clouds begin moving in tomorrow morning. Then we also start to see some snow in the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho as a system scoots by. Only a slight chance of snow flurries in Spokane tomorrow evening. We'll keep the snow, and it will be fairly light in the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho, and primarily, primarily over the higher terrain. But we are seeing a major change in our weather pattern as an upper level trough starts approaching, dropping out of the and it is going to bring one round of wet weather after another into our region. But we're looking specifically at this system here for the Wednesday night, Thursday morning time period. I have a three on the weather impact scale, moderate impacts, light to moderate snow accumulation in the valleys with heavy mountain snow and a slushy, snowy, unpleasant Thursday commute, uh, morning commute. I would keep that in mind. Then things it looks like will warm up enough that most of the roads will just be wet in the afternoon and evening on Thursday. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the teens and 20s around the region with high temperatures tomorrow, once again in the 30s in many low locations up in the 40s in Omak, Moses Lake and Lewiston but there are no 40s in the 7-day forecast. We have the snow coming in Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning. That's again where I've got the 3 on the impact scale for a Thursday morning commute that might be a bit of a challenge. And then hopefully a little bit of a more of a rain snow mix and wet roads on the way home Thursday. Saturday and Sunday I currently have dry in Spokane, but there's enough instability that I wouldn't rule out a little grapple here and there, <laughs> maybe a mountain uh, snow shower. And speaking of snow, Rome, Italy oh, got a wow. rare snowfall overnight. Take a look at uh, these Romans and tourists <laughs> enjoying the city from a very different uh, perspective. I bet they don't know what Ooh. to do with snow. Maybe I should go investigate. That would be a good. There you go. Uh, That'd live, be a great assignment. I'll for do you. a live report <laughs> there from the snow oh. in Rome. Yeah. Okay. With a time change, that might be a little. You tricky. come with me. I'll come. Perfect idea. <laughs>